Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This is Teacher Raya from Ali Muhab's Math. Thank you for visiting and I hope you are doing well. In this session, I'm going to show you how to calculate distance along grid circles in nautical miles. There are going to be more sessions about this topic. So if you don't want to miss any of the sessions, please subscribe now by pressing the button on the bottom right of your screen. Thank you and let's start the math. Right. Right, let's start by defining what a nautical mile is. A nautical mile is defined as the distance travelled on the surface of the Earth when one minute of angle is subtended at the Earth centre. What does that mean? If you have one minute here, this angle, then on the surface of the Earth you have one nautical mile. That's what it means. And... So now you know one minute is equal to one nautical mile. One nautical mile is equal to 1.852 kilometers approximately. One degrees is equal to 60 minutes on great circles. So you need to remember that. This is equal only on great circles, not small circles. So if you have one degrees here then, that's going to be equal to 60 minutes. So on the Earth's surface, what would that be in nautical miles? Well, one minute is equal to one nautical mile. 60 minutes is going to be equal to 60 nautical miles. So 60 nautical miles on the Earth of the surface. Right, so let me show you how this looks like on the diagram. So we know distance on great circles is given as 60 minutes times the alpha. So what is the alpha then? Alpha is the angular difference between latitudes. So if you have, for example, here two latitudes, one there and one there, and the angular, where well, you try to find distance between this, let's say you have your meridian there, that's your great circle, and you want to find distance from there to there, point B. Alpha is the difference between those two latitudes from the center of the earth. So you always look at the center of the earth. Then you have this sector. Can you see this, this sector here? The angle that you need is this one here. So that is your alpha. And that's the distance that you are looking for. Now let's do an example. So you're asked to find the distance between point A, which is 60 degrees north, and 30 degrees west and point B which is 30 degrees north 30 degrees west so we can see they are on the same great circle because they are both on 30 degrees west let's do the two latitudes then point A 60 degrees north here is your zero degrees north is going up so from here this is your zero so let's say 60 degrees north is over here and we're going to draw our latitude there and then you have another latitude, which is 30 degrees north, again, upward. So north, let's say, is over here. That's your 30 degrees north. And we're going to draw our latitude there as well. So always try to do the diagram. Then we have our longitude, which is 30 degrees west. Now I'm going to draw this in red. So west is on this side, and it's an estimate. So let's say this is your 30 degrees west then. That means this is your point A, which is 60 degrees north, 30 degrees west. is where the two lines, the longitudes and the latitudes intersect. So that's the position of A and this is the position of B. So we can see this latitude goes off, this longitude, beg your pardon, goes on to the other side of the world because it is circular. Now the distance that we need is this one here and the angle that we need where do we draw it from we draw it from the center of the earth there so this is your alpha so let's let's draw this on our 2d diagram i've taken this circle this circle up this great circle is this one here then you have your center of the earth and then you have your equator zero degrees there Point A is 60 degrees north, 
30 degrees west. So it's going to be around here somewhere. So let's say this is your 60 degrees north and that's your point A. So we're going to do a line like that. And then point B is 30 degrees from the equator. So that's your zero. So 30 degrees, obviously halfway. So B is over here. And that is 30 degrees north. So this is 30 degrees. This one here is 60 degrees. What do we need? So we're dealing with this sector here. So this is a sector that we're dealing with. And that's the distance that we want from A to B. So for this sector, if I take this out, okay, that's the center of the earth. That's B, that's A. This angle is this one here, which is going to be 30 degrees. This is the distance that you need. Okay, so alpha is equal to 60 degrees, take away 30 degrees, which is equal to 30 degrees. Let's get a different pen, because this may not be good for your eyes. Right, so now to find a distance then, all I have to do is do 60 minutes times my alpha, which is 30 degrees. Now, 6 times 3 is 18, and then you've got your two zeros, and now this distance is, is in nautical miles. So that is it for this example. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.